Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to do um, some draconian evolution weapons I think and we're also going to have a look at the ender gate and the ender cell. So let's get started. So the recipe for the ender gate is, that's the magneto, I think it's this one here, the ender cell, sorry. So what we need is, it's not one of these ones which can be upgraded. That just basically clears off whatever ever said he was in here. But this one can be, um, so we need these type of things. So we need some ender cores. Ender cores are made with ender eyes, dielectric casings, and some tiny capacitors. The dielectric casings we've already made in the past. Now, have I got enough of this stuff with me? I don't think I've got any dielectric casings. We have to make that. Oh, yes, I've got three. We're going to make two of these. Oh, have I got some ender eyes of ender? Yes, I have. And I also needed some tiny capacitors here. Those are basic capacitors. I need to split those into two, and that'll make tiny ones. So we've got these basic tiny capacitors here. So let's, and those will need to be made upstairs in the um, in the energizing orb. So what I can do here, though, so she's actually set for one. Oops, I don't want to put bra ha! I don't want to. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I don't think it'll do anything. I don't know to be honest with you. It's done that. So we'll put this into here. So we need an energy. We'll put all these three things in we've got here. Like that. In fact, I can even put one of these up here. So this is actually not yet. This is a necrotic cable. So that's two levels below what we want. So what's happened now? It should have. Yes, yeah, so we now got our first ender core. So I can make the second one here. Let's just do that. And that should power this up. So I've probably upgraded so I'll upgrade this cable as well at the same time. So I just gotta wait for these three to finish, which is now done. So we've got now two end of course, very straightforward to make. Let's just break off this cable and then we'll come back and put that back up again. So that of course also broke the um blazing energy rod, uh, energizing rod, so we have to put that back as well. No big deal. Should come along and do that. We have, by the way, we have plenty of uh, nitro stuff here. That's actually enough, for almost for two more. Um, I think it makes twelve, so that's almost enough for twenty-four crystals. But we've got enough to start with. I've actually got plenty. If you look in here, I've got one stack and four, and I've got almost two stacks of necrotic and sp spirited. I've got well, well. Just under one and a quarter. No, one and no, one and a third, isn't it? So let's upgrade this cable. In fact, this is the way one way to upgrade it. But we can do it this way. Oh, that's ender gates. So look at the recipe for this one. Sorry, um, uses. Uh, no, I think I'll do it in a different way. Let's go and have a look at the cable here. That's the gates. Cable is here. So we can do it this way. It's probably the easiest way. So we can make 12 of these energy nitro cables rather than try to upgrade ones two at a time. That actually makes six. Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure which is good, to be honest with you. We can't make any of those because we're running out of this dielectric rods. So let's make some dielectric rods first of all. I'm going to make 15. That's almost three, four stacks, isn't it? Oh, no, two stacks. Okay, good. And we'll split these into half. Like that. So we've got 60. And then we'll make the vertical ones. So we've got 60 of each. Let's put those into here. And then we, from that we should be, then be able to make what we need to, to do the cable. So we need to do the cable first. Let's do that. Energy cable nitro. I don't think we've got any of these. But we do need one of these capacitors. So let's make a capacitor up. How many can we make? 11. Well, I'm going to make probably four to start with. The rest we can put away. I took out all of the, the cells, so put those back in again. Oh, we've got some more tiny capacitors. Oh, I see, they didn't sort. Unfortunate, that's unfortunate, because these ones you can't put back together again. Never mind. So let's make up the gate now. Oh, so we need this ender cell here. We've got, I've got enough for two, but I'm we're only going to make one to start with. But we also need to put into this... Ah! Oh, wait a second. So we've completed that chapter. 
making this an end cell. What we also need in here, we need some uh, energy batteries. So the, there's one option here is the energy cell. Now this one is actually difficult. The reason it's difficult, I think we can do it a different way. I think we can put a battery into here. So we can make a nitro battery, for instance. So we need a, a battery spirited, which we can't, which we haven't got. We haven't got a battery necrotic, which we still can't make because we haven't got one of these. But you only need one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, was this one we can make, as you can see, like that. And then we can do the uses of the battery and then we can put it into here, make the, this one, unless you put it back again over to the side so it doesn't get charged up. Because when it gets charged up, you lose all the power, which is a bit of a waste, really. So let's have a look at the uses of the battery one and put that in here like this. And so this is the top level. Now this is a maximum transfer rate of 400k per tick and it stores 140 million. The same is true for this one here. So this is actually considerably more difficult because to do this one you need two sets of these spirited energy cells and that you need two sets of narcotic cells, two sets of blazing cells per energy cell too hard and too and too basic so it, it takes a lot of i don't think there's another recipe for that there isn't the basic one you can make directly so i think we need something like 64 of these energy cells before we can even make one of these as opposed to just one of these so let's take this upstairs now did i make the cable i think i didn't make the cable yet did i so let's do that before i forget because that's important energy cable nitro we can make 12 of these. That'll be fine for now. You can see this is getting charged up. I prefer it not to be. <laughs> so what we can do is we can then put this stuff down over here. So, for example, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to move these out of the way and put this end and cell down here, like this, at the end of this row. It doesn't make any difference as far as I know. And underneath this, we'll put the cable. It links in automatically when you've got... Um, when you put the cable down but to actually break the cable you can use the wrench but it doesn't always work from what i've been trying out so that should work so now we can just put on the end of this the energy blazing energy rod let's put it around about in the middle here actually i don't need probably in this one at the end so we can break that off so now what this is, thing have a look at the interface on this end of cell it's got all of these channels because we picked the top one the nitro one it's got all 12 channels now in each one of these channels you can shift click a battery i believe that you can put a shift click a battery into this like that so that's now that's actually not here it looks like it is but if we press escape back again it's actually not there as you can see so this is charging up 140 million so that's that's a good way to do this as it happens. I didn't realize this before. What I don't, this, this particular channel here has got nothing in it and neither have a, a, any of the others until we put a, either until we put a cell in it or um, a portable cell. Uh, what I don't fully understand yet is how you can control the output of these. Because if, for example, if I change, let's go to channel two here and then turn all of these off. That, that means IO mode is receive and um, transmit. If we turn that's extract is what it says, but it's really transmit, isn't it? So this is receive and this is off. So if I turn this one off, that's facing south. I come and look onto channel three. It's the same pattern. So I don't fully understand how you choose which one of these you actually want. So let's turn that back on again. And the one facing west is presumably the one it's connecting into. In fact, it's connecting to down. I don't know why it says that. Anyway, so that's that done. Let's go downstairs now and have a look at this. So everything's maxed out in here except for the energy blazing cell. So let's go down. And now, what we can now do is we've got these energy gates here. We've got these energy gates which we made i think last time uh from power and now these ones will transmit 200 fe per tick so we can take this uh, actually i can put this one back into here for example 
don't need to take that with us. And then we can put this onto something. It doesn't matter what, you could replace this solar panel here, which is feeding this energy hopper, which is charging up anything in this chest. If you remember last time, it's charging this up. Or it should be, or have I not done the other bit yet? Probably because it's night time. So over here, I have this power pot one and it's 75% progress. Oh, yes, but it's obviously not charging up because this was also dark. Have a quick sleep and come back in a second. So now this is charging up. We look at this, it's slowly, very slowly charging up, but it's extremely inefficient and, and it's been running for days and it's got actually nothing in this chest. And I was thinking these power plots are completely useless, but they're actually really good. <laughs> so let's just break away this like that. And I've got the wrong tool now. And we'll also break away the solar, solar generator. What am I using? Oh, right. Let's use the pickaxe. And then let's put onto this side here, this ender gate. So this is now transmitting power at uh, 50,000 per tick. And it's got 10 million FE already installed in this here. And you can see how fast that's now going. So it's got six seconds to go. And then it starts up. And I think it's like this one here is 100, 1 minute 30. And this is back to 1 minute 14. And we've got 16 per, per go. Not just uh, the one that you would got over here, if you, get a, if you get a one. But here you're getting 16 at a time, which is great. <laughs> so you get oh, at least 16 times faster, plus the speed difference, which is probably around about 20 times faster. And that's only the power pot one, but does require a lot of power. So with the, um, with the generator, with the reactor, we've got a rough enough power for that. So before we do Draconic Evolution, let's, let's claim all the quests that we've got in here. So I've done some mystical agriculture work off camera and I made a, a aluminum cell. And that's that was the reason for that, and that was to make uh, upgrade the. I'll show you. In fact, so we get a random reward for that one. So we get a great a great fairy ring. Oh, that's very good. I don't know what the great fairy ring does. I'm not up to date with Britannia. I really need to do some more of it. And here, yes, I upgraded the cobblestone generator tier to tier four. Very easy. These ones actually. This one, the next level up here. The recipe for this was simply putting cast iron gears and blocks of compressed stone on the high temperature tempered glass jar and that produces one of those it's from the previous generation the use of that one is we do this opposite we put it in the freezing one with some molten rose gold which is not too difficult when you needed one bucket trouble with that is you you're left with a very silly amount afterwards plus the cobblestone generator plus some slime blocks will make the cobblestone generator tier four and the use of that is the one we needed these glass here you saw aluminum glass here you've got different types of glass so I built, made some aluminum seeds in order to make that glass, plus four cobalt ingots. Cobalt ingots are actually fairly straightforward, not nothing difficult. But I don't think we need this. Let's have a look over here, and you'll see why I'm, I say I don't think we need it. Besa this is my cobblestone generator here. Um, here. And this has got 10k in here. Beside this, we have a netherite auto hammer. So that's the fastest auto hammer we've got. So from this chest here, you can see it's coming in and out. It's basically coming into here uh, at a rapid speed. And when that gets full, I'll take the great fairy ring out of my hand. I don't need that. So right, shift right click that with an empty hand. It will, it doesn't tell me, it should tell me actually. I probably have to press 32 times a single stack. So we've got up to one or two, four stacks of cobblestone in here. But I think this is in increasing in speed. All the time until it reaches that level so i'm not going to upgrade that if we don't need to but the seed is ready in just in case we do so well maybe we'll do that now let's get on and have a look at the rest of the quest rewards because we haven't finished those off yet so we can claim a random reward for that and we get a mystical yellow petal that will be a stack and we'll also get in this one here we've got the random reward for this so we get some nickel seeds fantastic Actually, nickel seeds are good because anything... Actually, nickel seeds we don't need because that comes direct. Invar seeds and things like that would be good. Did I miss them? I've still got some more quests to do because I didn't do power, did I? Let's click along here. Now, mystical agriculture, of course. Getting the nickel seed has completed another...
quest in here so we get another random reward so we get a rare shade grab bag that's actually quite a good one if you if you're into those sort of things and the last one is power so the last thing we did in power was the end of cell and for that we get a range add-on tier three okay i'll put those away and be back in a second so the first thing we'll do I can't remember because I it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, but I have got a wyvern bow. And I th think we made that last time. Where have I put it? Ah, oh, here we are. Okay. So this one requires an en energy module to function. I think we can also make at the same time the dechronic chest plate, this one here. Uh, I don't see why not. I think we can... Draconic energy control is no big deal. Myvan core is no big deal. We can do that. This one's fairly straightforward. This is simply one Myvan core. So we need to make two of these. So they are expensive, but we should be able to do that. Plus these, which are another four draconic cores. So let's start off and make the armor. But I'm sure I had some armor. Maybe I got it as a reward. I don't know. So let's start off with doing this one here. So we need a diamond chest plate. Oh, and maybe I've put it in the maybe it's in here ready i've got some stuff ready ah yes it is okay so this is what we need to make we need to make a diamond chest plate two basic energy relays so if we have a look at the wyvern one so the wyvern one is this so energy relays two draconic ingots plus a wyvern energy controller and a draconic core will make will allow us to upgrade a chest plate to a wyvern chest plate so that's the bits and pieces we need. We've already made these. The Wyvern Energy Control, the recipe for that is one Draconic Core plus four blocks of redstone. So expensive redstone and just four ingots of Draconium ore. So that's no big deal. So let's just put those into here. So first of all, we'll just put in here the diamond. And because these are on single mode, we can simply put those into here like this. And then we need the Wyvern Energy Controller. In fact, I should move this up one level. And then in here we need one draconium core. And then we need two of these energy crystals. No, I didn't look at the recipe for those today. Basically, they are another Wyvern energy controller, which is what we've just seen before, with four diamonds around it. Or you can use these IO crystals here. So that'll actually produce make four of these, which is fine. So that's what we're using two of those for this particular bit. So Let's put those down there like that. And I think that's ready. So we can then click craft. Let's get out of the way. And let it do its business. And that's working just fine, as you can see. So we'll get this chest plate. In fact, it makes sense to go straight up and upgrade this one to the next level. So we've got this Wyvern one call. Hang on. So look at the uses of that. So we need one, two ingots of Awakened, four ingots of Netherite. They're actually really easy, these ones. Plus one Draconium Energy Controller, which is four Wyvern Controllers plus a Wyvern Core. So that's a reasonable amount, but we probably should be able to do that And four of these Awakened Draconium Ingots. So let's go and make that up. So Awakened Draconium, we have already seen that this is going to be making a lot. So we've already got two and a half stacks since the time we've been here. This one's got a lot more. So... We shall make these up into ingots first of all. So the uses of the this one is nine is going to give us oh, three nuggets. Probably not enough, but the uses of this one. In fact, I have actually got some in here as well. If I remember rightly, I saw some somewhere else. Um, I'm not sure where I saw it. And the uses of this one. Go to the second page. We can make up these ingots. We can make up five. I think we only need four. Let's put these bits in here for the next time. If I need any more, I'll make some more off camera, come back again. So what did we need to do? We wanted to do this chest plate. So we needed for the, we can't do the chaotic because we've got to kill the chaos dragon. Two ingots for that, plus this one. So we do actually need some more. So we need uh, some Wyvern energy controllers. We need two of these, we'll make three. What am I short of? Probably redstone blocks. In fact, we'll make three. And then we can make the next one up, I guess, which is the Conic Capacitor. It will look the same. <laughs> Energy controller here. So we, for that, we need a, a Wyvern core. I think we need two of these. We can make five. So we'll just do two to start with. 
move those bits out of the way. And then we can make up the, the bits for the chest plate. So what do we need now? It was the controller or the Connect Core um, Energy Controller. So we can we might need to make two of these in here. Oh, actually, I've already got plenty of awakened draconium ingots in here, look, as you can see, 32. I must have been busy. So that's those two bits. What else do we need? Four ingots and netherite plus those two bits. That's not a big deal. But we need 32 million. That's not actually a big deal either. So let's go and get the netherite ingots. I think at the moment this is not growing. Oh, no, it is growing. It's, it's nearly full. As you can see, I'll take a stack of that. That'll make enough. So let's have a look at the netherite essences. Makes one ingot, so that's going to give us eight. We only need four, so that's fine. So is that all we need? No, we needed two ingots of uh, awakened Raconi more, didn't we? Take those half, and I think we only, I think I can put those back actually. Yeah, no, came back into my inventory. If you shift click them, they will go by preference into the chest that's beside it. So, right, let's see if we've got everything we needed for that. So, a Draconic 8 energy controller. Wyvern energy controller, I need that for something else. Uh, Wyvern core, I think we need that one. And two of ingots. And then we needed four netherite ingots. So look at this. Ah, so we've got everything we need, fantastic. So we can now make our draconic chest plate. Which is good. Now, of course, I can change this and I can put onto here another capacity uh, one of these things and break this and don't need to take the power from over wherever I'm generating the power and we can just put one of those ender gates on here which will give this 400 fe per tick so it'll charge it fairly quickly anyway so now we've got this draconic chest plate in the old days there used to be a whole set of armor but I think that's disappeared so we just have this chest plate now so if we have another look at this, it's going to complain about it. It's going to say, this item requires an energy module to, to function. Um, so we need to make an energy module. So in order to do that, we need to make some module cores. I think we need probably, I'm not sure how many of these we can make. Let's have a look. 22, right. We don't need anywhere near that many. We'll take about eight, I think. Because we do need a lot of these in order to make any progress at all. And in fact, as you can see, the iron, well, everything that went into my inventory except for the iron, I put them in the right course, sort this up here. So we've got another 13 draconium ingots. So now we need to make the energy core. So for that, I think we need to make a, one of these draconic energy controllers. So what do we need for that? Uh, probably a lot of stuff, I guess. Maybe we don't have enough of it ready for this particular yeah, but I also expect we can put a Wyvern energy controller in this. Um, because the recipe for this one and the uses of that is we can then make the Draconic one with four of those. So let's go back to the recipe for this again and click that in. What am I missing? Blocks of um, redstone. Not no big deal. We have plenty of redstone. I can either take some of this, which will give three, I think, yeah. I'm going to be careful when I'm right clicking this, which will give us three stacks of dust. Uh, or we can take it out of here, which is coming directly from the, the sluice with them, um, uh, with sand, but we're not doing any sand at the moment. Okay, let's put those back. What I can show you here is another trick. Well, something I learned, figured it out. So, for example, on here, I could put a chest. So, I've got a chest with me, probably in the backpack. Got an ender chest in here. I could use that if I wanted to. I don't see any more chests in there. Let's get a chest out of there. I must have a chest somewhere, put it that way. Uh, it's probably in here. Let's have a look. There we got 31. So what we can do with this is we can put this chest on top of here. I can come up here and do it from up here. I want to I want to put it make so it, so it faces the right way, but it's not actually important which way it faces. Yeah, it faces this way. But it connects in. And what you can do with this is we have one of these filter direction destination tools. And so what we can then do is, I'm not sure if I've shown you this or not, but you can right click the bottom of this 
chest like that. And that's a destination that's been set. So while that's doing that, let's put into here, into the uh, wrong tool. Oh, just done the wrong tool. I have, to do, I have to be careful with that one. Let's come along here and put into this, into the squeezer. There's nothing in here. That's just a standard drying basin. I'm going to break it because the drying basin is tends to break if I've got the wrong fluid in it. So it, uh, sometimes it gets it puts lava in there and breaks it. So I need to do that. For, we'll just put this into here like this. So that's going to make dust. So we can take a dust out of here for even 14. And actually a lot of dust, isn't it? Oh, I think I said that completely wrong. And we can go down here like that. And then we can have a look at this particular shift, right click this connection. But I need to do it with an empty hand, of course. So let's just get an empty hand out in here. And here we've got item. I've got blazing powder, blaze, blaze powder. So what I can do is now is I can put in an add an entry in here like this. Put it into here. I can either type or add it. So I've got redstone dust coming in here. And then we can use this filter to specify the direction. So now you can see here it's got the direct direction and submit that. We don't need any NBT data. So what that's going to do is if we put redstone, it's going to come out of here and go into the chest up here, as opposed to going into this. But we should set here the position for the um, for the dust. So let's just do that as well. You can reuse this as many times as you want until you right click it on something else like, like that. And then it's got a different position. So let's come back down here again and have a look at this. Empty hand again, of course. So this one, we can edit this one and put this destination in here like that. So that's saying this one is in that coordinate bit is up. Like that. Submit that and that's done. And you see this is actually pointed to a multi-server press and this one's producing a chest. Now nothing's gone out of here yet. In fact, it's full because I have broken this connection here. But it's easy. Let's just fix that. Shift right click the top of this. It connects back in again. So if we have a look in this chest now, we're getting redstone coming in here like that, as you can see. And underneath in here, there will be no redstone coming into this server because it can't process it. So that's that. Uh, I've got a bit of dirt down here, which I can come along. I do need to break this because I can't. I guess I can reach you for a minute. That's fine. Good. So that, oh, I need the blocks of redstone. I did pick up blocks of redstone or did I not? Oh, yes, I did, did not put them in here. So let's carry on. So we needed to make an energy controller. So this, and okay, so I've got a wire and energy control. Let's see if we can actually put this into the chest plate. So we take the chest plate to, and it says Alt one to open configuration. Right, so we press Alt, uh, Alt and one. You can configure these keys; it doesn't make any difference. So if I can shift click this, and you see this is all highlighted into here, which I no, I can't put it in. So that means I have to do the next level up. Okay, fine. Not a big deal. So let's get, we need some more of these. We need another three of the recipe for these. We need three of those. And then we also needed uh, a wiring core, I th think. Make two of those. What's the shortage? I guess the shortage could be another stars. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, for the time we won't do it, Deconic Energy Control is what we need. Um, no, we need to put that in. Oh, oh, I'm daft. I'm sorry, I didn't do this right. So look at the uses for the module core here. The one we want is the energy one. So that's for shields. In fact, I should look along here, shouldn't I? A wiring energy module, that's the one I want to do. You And you can actually upgrade this one, good. So a wiring energy module is this. So we need energy modules, two of those. So we're missing two of these. Can we make two of those? We can make eight, fantastic. Okay. So I've completed another quest doing that. So the energy module is this one. And I'm pretty sure we can put this into it. So we've now got an energy module. So let's to put that into here, Alt and one again. And then we can shift click this module into here. So now it's got energy in here. And in fact, it's got 60, it's up to 4 million, 
I could have made the uh, the lower levels, which is one million. So this one was one million here. Uh, this one's four million. This will probably be ten million, oh, 16 million, it's four times as much, which of course makes sense because the recipe for the this one is oh, actually, it's even better. So it's not even that expensive. So we need just two of any of the modules plus a wiring core. Oh, we can do this. Let's do it anyway. So what did we need for that one? Now we needed two of these energy modules. We've got one, so that's two. So we can take the other one out of the chest plate. And these three bits should make, I need to make a core, don't I? Let's have a look. So we should be able to go this now. What we're we missing here, some nuggets. They're no big deal. We can do that nuggets in here. We've got some nuggets. In fact, I've got nuggets in the chest anyway. So that we can always put those through there. So we should be able to make this module now. Great. You can't put the mod higher modules in. You couldn't, for example, we couldn't put the chaos module into here. But we can put the draconic energy module in here like this. So now we've got 60 million power. And this, in fact, should be charging up, as you can see, because of the um, uh, player in transmitter that we've got from power installed in here. That's actually still quite very fast but he's got no at the moment it doesn't have any let's put it on it has to go on the chest plate here it's complaining about no shield let's have a look at shields because that was actually something that got me so the different types of shields here is a wyvern capacity sh a shield like this and we need netherite scraps for doing this okay or, and we can make five of these can make a large capacity shield um so that's Draconic ore, so we need to make some nether scraps. Now, nether scraps we can only make um, by ancient from ancient debris. And to get ancient debris, well, there's two ways we can do it on the sluice like this, and that will give you five percent chance. In fact, it's actually a very good way of doing this, as it happens, because I don't get a five percent chance, we get a lot more than that. Let's have a look over here first of all. I'm probably running out of time. I've got 11 in here, let's take those 11 out of here like this. I've also got some more draconium ingots and I have to remember than that one. So I've found the hidden depths so I've got another visitor. So, so what we can do in here, I've got one stack and 15. So let's put in here, for example, 50. 50 is a good number because with 50 we can um, do the percentages, double everything. We'll see what percentage it is. So we've got 50 in there. And on this we've got a few five fortune upgrades. Let's increase the fortune upgrades. I'm pretty sure I've got those in one of these chests. It might be in here. No, it's probably in here. Bottom one. No, that's I've got them somewhere. Tell you what, I'll just get them out of one of my chests. I can't remember which one it is. One. Right, good. Oh, they're such a nuisance, these guys. All right. I think that's the pair of them done. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> if I can start getting spit at, we'll know that I've done something wrong. Let's put those away, put these into here, no problem. Um, now, crushed. I'll tell you what, I'll find these and come back in a second. Yeah, just typical, they're in the place it should be. So we can put those into here. Now, it shouldn't use too much power in here. Let's put them, let's press shift click on this, do I? Oh, I took that, okay, <laughs> don't want to do that. Can I not put those in here directly? I thought I could, hold on a second. Maybe I'm putting them in the wrong place. Uh, I am. Okay, sorry. So we can put 10 in here, and then we can put the grate back on again. And before we do that, we're going to take out of here some, one stack of gravel. So I'm going to put these 50 in here like that. Take out that stack of gravel, and then put the sluice back again. And it's going to do the first slot. It does the first slot each time. So when it's, this 50 is finished, 5% would represent 2.5% ancient debris wouldn't it so it won't take too long i'll be back when this is finished and have a look at what we've got okay so we've now got as emptied out so we're just going to look at what we've actually got we've got 18 not sure how the gravel got through there but there we go it is <laughs> so we've got 18 which is considerably more than five percent as you can guess that's actually 36 percent let's put the gravel back away in here that's 36%. Now, next thing is, a bit more complicated, we need 
have a look at the use of these. Actually, there is another there is another recipe on here which I could have done as well, equally as well. Get them from loot chests. If we go from pulsating crates, there's a, a ten, almost a ten percent chance, or nine percent chance. We can do it in the combiner. So with one basalt and two netherite dust, we can make one ancient debris. The combiner is actually not it's reasonably high. It's reinforced alloy, so that's basically just diamonds plus. Uh, an infused alloy which will produce reinforced alloy let's go back again and have a look at what else we needed we also needed an elite control circuit so that's two of those plus an advanced control circuit which is two infused alloy on a basic control circuit which was osmium and redstone dust there we are so that's another way of doing it I, can't, I haven't made the combiner yet but i've got all of these different machines prepared I was actually going to do that, but I've run out of time for that today. So now, what we can do with that, in here I have got a endstone uh, smelter. What we can, this is actually one of the one of the best ways. We can put that down here like that, and you'll see it needs two things. And it doesn't show you recipes, but we'll have a look at that in a second. But it does need blaze powder, uh, lo buckets of lava, or actually, a bucket of lava is not a bad idea. That's I'm going to get some buckets of lava out of here. I think it needs that. You can put a bucket of lava into here. Or blocks of coal was the other thing I was going to say. It won't work with blocks of charcoal. So we should be able to put that into there. Yes, it can. And then from that, we can put in two ancient debris. So I've got 29, so I can do it like this. And they will smelt up. And what I don't know how many it's going to do with one bucket of lava. We can also put blaze rods in here like that but this will make scraps and this will actually make three as soon as it's done if we go back and have a look at the, um, the usage of the ancient we can put it in here so we obviously we can make things another right reinforced drum uh, which will probably be a challenge we can make one will produce one scrap if we smelt it and put it in the blast furnace the arc furnace is probably the no this is our arc recipe yes it's the arc furnace isn't it no, I can make reaction chamber from blood magic. We're not ready to do that. It would double it up, I think. If you do the use of that, you can then smelt that to one. Yes, exactly. Um, the art furnace recipe produces one, so that's not much better. The crush, the crusher, although it's the art furnace, that's actually quite expensive in immersive engineering one. It will produce netherite, two netherite scraps. So that's actually the best recipe. Uh, and the other way to do it is through the washer from industrial foregoing, which we haven't covered yet. But there's three pages of these, as you can see. So the crusher will actually give you a one plus a seven. Ooh, you know, that's actually better, isn't it? Let's take these out of here, because it's going to go on forever. Let's put those into here. That's actually, we're going to get more than scraps than that. We're going to get one plus one and seven chances as you see we've got two for that one five again so that's even that's better all right okay and of course then i can come along here and say oh, well i want those to go in the top of this into the bottom of this chest just let's get this do this bit again just just to be sure that you've seen it right click that on there like that come along here we should be able to shift right click the bottom of this now which we can and then we can add in here netherite scraps i haven't got actually i can do that do that again. We can actually type it in if you're not sure. So let's add a new one. So we can type. Is it underscore scrap? Can't see. Uh, yes. And then that does that one. And we can then simply put the position on it here like this. And then submit. And then that's it done. So in here we should now be getting netherite scraps 41. Fantastic. Okay. Long way round for this and I'll probably run out of time but we should be able to make up the shield there's different shield modules there's a wyvern one and there's a conic evolution so let's just start with the wyvern one here because we can put that in here like this so we need to make these in order to make the deconic one I think yes we need to make these up so this one's really sort of expensive especially for the um, wyvern cores because wyvern cores are really horrible to make let's make this up here like this so that'll make one of these. And then we can put that into the into here. Um, 
into the just by put open it up kind of push this into it. that should work like this and it gives you a certain amount of shield but in fact here it says still says no shield installed and this is the bit that confused me because i was but i didn't get it to start with now there are there is a module we have to put another module in to order to get the shield in here that's the controller oh i think we need the controller in here so this one is also pretty expensive because we need a dragon heart for this one uh two wyvern cores four diamonds and this is only the wyvern controller we have to make it so can we make this one up i've got one so i'm missing to do the recipe for this one oh draconic course what am i missing for this one i'm not sure what i'm missing for this one sort of recipe for that one uh i'm missing draconian ingots no big deal we've got we saw we've got plenty of those already let's go and get grab those they certainly go through a lot of draconium ingots and very fast too so let's do this out last I've got a feeling I might have run out of power now on this machine. Oh no, it's running fine. We'll leave it running. Because that's been powered by solar panels. So again, that's a draconic corn recipe. How many can we make? Six, that'll do. Seven, not a great number because it's odd. So right, where were we? Energy core, wasn't it? So that's this one here. So we need two draconic... We can't make it up. We need a heart and... And one of these wyvern cores, which you can make now. Got a wyvern core. And then we need the heart, which we have to get from killing the dragon. I might kill the dragon on camera at some stage. Uh, between episodes, what I'm going to do is upgrade them. There it is. It's the only way I think you can get There's no other way to get the heart. There's no recipes for it. So where were we? The, the conic control, the wyvern controller here. So we also need one of these particle generators particle generators fairly straightforward as you should see just blaze rods blocks of color and draconic that's good now we can should be able to put this one into here now we should be able to craft it up if i can see it before i craft that up let's just have a quick look at this recipe here so we need one wiring controller plus these draconic cores which actually aren't too bad we could Possibly make my oven cause uh, oh, there's a lot of nether stars here, but that's the eels, also not a problem. So we can make this. Let's put this into our chest plate here. And you see, this one's actually a two by two. And now you'll notice on here, I've actually got some a little bit of uh, a shield. It's going up slowly because that's now starting to generate power. Um, and that should fill up. The more I put of these in, does it tell me how many I can put in here? It says I can put in one. This will give 25 point shield. And this one probably goes faster. But there's also another module for doing this regeneration. We can also do flight. So we can do a wire and core with a rocket firework. It doesn't matter what type of firework you use. You can use the one, two or three level duration. Now that this one's the next one up. This one should give us creative flight plus elytra. Again, this one is potion of slow falling, two iron cores and the first module. So what can we, what are we missing in here? What electro elytra we've got and one of those. That's dead easy. Let's see if we've got enough. Maybe we've got enough time. So we just need some paper and some gunpowder. So I'll, I'll make a few rockets. I'll just go and get some gunpowder and come back in a second. If you look for the uses for, if you look for recipe for rockets, you don't find it, but it's, you can do it like this. And this has a duration of three. I don't think you can't, you can't make any more than duration of three. I think that's the maximum. And you get three of those. So we'll get nine rockets. Great. Um, we also need an elytra. Well, I found it. I found it. I've actually found a second density with another elytra in it. So we can, Quite happily use that. And then we should be able to make this up. Like this. And we've got this wyvern flight. Which is quite neat. We actually also need rockets when we're flying, by the way. If you haven't got a jetpack. Well, we have got a jetpack. So we don't really need both. This one, of course, is then requires a potion of slow falling and some wyvern course. So our will, potion of slow falling is fairly straightforward. It's just a fam, phantom membrane on awkward potion 
and that's that one and that's the only one you need it's not this one's dead easy because i've already got those well that's it for this episode a bit long i'm sorry about that anyway next time i shall be carrying on and prepare some stuff between episodes so until then i wish you all the best bye for now <laughs>